Hey, what's good, everyone? Welcome back. My name is Snarly, and this is not going to be too long, but I don't know. I just had a thought, and I just wanted to come up here and just say it like what the real truth, the real secret behind manifesting is, okay, behind praying, whatever you want to call it, um, something that you're going to higher powers for. I usually consider that prayer, manifestation, asking, whatever the fuck. It's really just everything but with different names. The same thing with different names. Anyway. Um, the real truth and the real secret I found behind manifesting, and I always felt this way, but I was always told I was being negative or I wasn't trying hard enough or whatever, was that you actually have to feel it. And yes, I know you've gotten that advice before, um, that you have to feel what you're manifesting. But that couldn't compute in my head. You know, I can't just watch a video and then make three steps and say it three times a day for three days or whatever the fuck. Or, you know, manifestation methods, just anything. I feel like the method is what comes natural to you through experience. So what I'm coming on here today is just tell you what I've learned from experience and what I kind of already intuitively felt before I experienced it. So I always felt like it was a waste of time, you know, when I was looking at manifesting or how to pray, how to manifest or how to get the things that you need and want. And when I was looking through it, seeing pe people's videos and shit, I was just like, no, like this shit is a waste of time. Like, and, but there were some that I tried out, right? But even probably by the second day or the third day, I would forget that I was even doing that. And I don't think that's what manifesting truly is about. You know, I don't think you should forget or I feel like when it comes to something like that, you actually have to be connected to it. You can just ask or want it and need it. Um, I feel like that's just something you can't just put in a method. I feel like that's just something you're just going to have to learn and see. You're going to have to experience God yourself. Because when I experience God, I experience God for so many reasons. But this is um, one aspect of it, manifesting, praying. I actually had to be in that space. Because you have to understand, we're, we're in a material world. We're in a physical world talking to the spiritual world. So they're not seeing all the, mi the mimics and the drama and the theatrics and the expressions and me trying to give off a genuine vibe you know they're actually feeling that through vibration which goes back to law of attraction right you attract what you are and that is true and if you can't see that it most likely right now is just an ego problem nothing nothing to worry about you know some just something to fix it's going to be a you know ego debt ego debts are hard but you know it's doable but I just I always just knew I, I I just can't manifest I just can't pray like I'm not in that space to do that and I don't think I'm necessarily being negative I just know that this this doesn't feel genuine and I feel like the first and the first and foremost important thing Sorry, if y'all hear the doorbell in the background, that's just my family going in and out. But I'm not going to get up and go get it. I'm talking to y'all right now. Um, there's other people in the house that can open the door. Um, but give me one second. But yeah, though, I just... I don't know. I just thought, like, if I'm going to be talking to God and universe, spirit, whatever name you want to give it, it just has to come from a genuine place. Whether it's a genuine place of gratitude, a genuine place of 
being vulnerable and knowing that I can trust in what I'm being vulnerable in, vulnerable in whether that's me expressing my worries or me being vulnerable, like knowing that I'm in my ego, but I'm really not coming from my ego. Meaning like when I go there and ask for what I want, they know why I'm asking for why I want a material thing because they feel my vibration, if that makes sense. like. The, you know what I'm saying is like the universe is always just going to sense when it's real where you're coming from because I don't think things are all necessarily ego whenever you say I or you want something for yourself that's just making sure you're being fulfilled and that's one thing God wants us to be is fulfilled and he wants to provide that so I just think when you're manifesting when you're praying, praying you can't just do that you have to actually develop and form a relationship and actually experience um, what's going on yourself. Because a lot of people don't believe in God because they feel like they never experienced God. But I feel like once you do, that's just naturally going to kick off you always going to God for something. Whether that's to, to thank him, to, to give gratitude, whether that's to ask. What is that, you know, ask for what you need or what you want or advice or guidance or instruction, whatever the fuck. When you actually develop the connection, the relationship and actually see that he's always there, he's always watching, he's always there for you and always protecting you. You're just naturally going to go. And that's when you can start praying and manifesting out of belief and faith rather than um, just purely a genuine space, if that makes sense. Because you can have you can have faith but not be genuine yet because you're just not in that space yet. But knowing that you have already experienced God, you just have that faith and belief because he was there before he will be there again. So I don't know, that's just my, my little thing for manifesting a prayer. Like when they say you actually have to feel it, what I mean, uh, what I what I, I want to expand on that and be like you actually have to experience it. You actually have to experience God being there to actually believe in manifestation and be like, okay, I don't know. I don't see a way out. I don't see how this is going to go, but I know they were here before and they're going to be here again. You know? And then the surprise, the magic is always unpredictable. He always awes you in a different way than before so i don't know it's just a i feel like manifestation of prayer should be intimate i think that's what it was supposed to be it was supposed to be intimate it was supposed to be just between you and god a conversation between you and god you and your father you and your husband whatever whatever kind of relationship you need um in that moment god will form that he will he will turn into your husband he will turn into your father. You know, he will turn into your friend. God can be all things. He is the Alpha and the Omega. So he can be all things. Because I know lately, lately he's definitely been my, been my husband, right? <laughs> but just six months ago, for like three months, he was um, my father, you know, providing guidance and protection. Now I kind of view him as my my husband, which is providing protection, but also providing like like my love for him, like my love for God is so intimate and deep that I know like I'm not going to disrespect myself by just being with anyone. Like basically being my husband in a way where it's like my self-worth is better now and my self-esteem is higher now because it's like I know that I belong to God if that makes sense so I just think that you just have to really get close and intimate with God before you you I don't know you just do all those methods those logical brain I don't know I just feel like you should just start at the right brain first so you can really know what how things are interconnected and I don't know and just really just experience the magic of life but yeah so that's all I wanted to come up and come up on here and say and I'll catch y'all next time